the function of Teotihuacan. So you have three different structures at the Teotihuacan complex. Mm -hmm. You have the Temple of the Feathered Serpent. Mm -hmm. So anytime you hear Feathered Serpent, Quetzalcoatl, you know, again, there's communication encoded in the structures. That is literally telling you that this is where lightning strikes. Temple of the Feathered Serpent. You have the okay. Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon. And the voltage from lightning strikes was being distributed into these other structures. So this is the Pyramid of the Sun. This is the Pyramid of the Moon. And this is the remains of the Temple of the Feathered Serpent, Quetzalcoatl, or Kukulkan. Same deity. One is Mayan, one is Aztec. Okay. So they did excavations at the Teotihuacan complex, and they found tunnels below all of these structures. Vast tunnel systems running below the structures, and they found deposits of liquid mercury. So here's one of the tunnels below the Temple of the Feathered Serpent, and they found liquid mercury below the Temple of the Feathered Serpent. I've heard Serpent. of this. Yeah. Luke was telling me this. Yes, yeah. Now, there's a little something weird going on because in all of the articles, there are no pictures of this liquid mercury, which mm. is a little odd. It's reported in tons of articles, but there are no actual pictures or evidence of this liquid mercury. They say they found it, but there's no evidence in terms of pictures. Okay. So again, an image here. They also found pyrite spheres. So we just talked about pyrite being utilized within the Sphinx Avenue step-down voltage transformers. We've also found pyrite spheres, mica and liquid mercury in the Teotihuacan complex. Pyrite, again, is a semiconductor, an insulator at low voltage and conductive at high voltage. This is just an image of some of the tunnels that are found below the temple Whoa. of the feathered serpent. So this is the temple of the feathered serpent and what here. Did they, what technology did they use to find those, to map those tunnels? No, they physically excavated it. They went down there? Yeah, yeah, they went down in there. Whoa, yeah, yeah. fuck, when? So I don't know exactly when those excavations were carried okay. out, but it's it's fairly recent. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this is the temple of the feathered serpent that has this dragon descending down the side of it. Again, anytime you see a dragon or a feathered serpent, it's telling you that this is where lightning struck. Mm -hmm. And the configuration of this temple reminds me very much of the solar temple at Abu Ghraib, which is a temple that had a huge obelisk on the top of it. That was the attractor and primary object that was struck by lightning. So again, always connected to agriculture. Mm. So look at the configuration of the Teotihuacan Serpent co Temple Complex. And we also have a source of water with the San Juan River mm. running through the center of the complex. So again, we have a source of subterranean water that's directly connected to telluric currents, telluric currents being directly connected to lightning strike locations. Right. We have the exact same thing here. So what were they using the mercury for? Mercury can be used to amalgamate gold. So this is gold being dissolved into liquid mercury. It's called amalgamation, where liquid mercury will amalgamate and dissolve gold, which is a way that you can process gold ore. And what does the gold turn into when you dissolve it? It's a mercury amalgam. Okay. So it's... That's a specific word that you use to describe metals dissolving into mercury. And then you can distill that amalgam to get purified gold. It's a purification method used for taking gold ore and turning it into pure gold metal. Got so it. for processing of metal ores. That's, is this used today? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. This is a picture of distillation uh, in a mercury amalgam retort. Got it. Which is used to purify um, gold. Okay. Okay. So the Temple of the Sun, the Temple of the Moon, and the Quetzalcoatl Serpent Temple Complex. So from an alchemical perspective, the Pyramid of the Sun, the Sun is an alchemical symbol for gold. The Moon is an alchemical symbol for silver. So the Teotihuacan Temple Complex is using liquid mercury for processing gold and silver ore. Okay. Again, there's communication encoded in these structures. Mm -hmm. And even though this is modern nomenclature, the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon, it's the same thing as the King's Chamber air shafts and the well shaft that tell you exactly what those features were doing. 
the king's chamber air shafts being air intakes that bring air into the king's chamber, the well shaft being the source of water utilized in the internal chemical this is reaction that goes down process. To the subterranean chamber. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all about the processing of gold. We knew that there was a huge civilization in Mesoamerica, like um, it's the city of El Dorado, that was processing gold. Right. So that's my hypothesis for the Teotihuacan Serpent Temple Complex is that they were using this liquid mercury for processing gold and silver ore. Wow. So there's a couple of reasons why I think that's the case. And I'll skip through these slides to kind of um, speed through this one. Okay. So the pyramids mm -hmm. at Teotihuacan mm -hmm. are made from very specific materials. So the pyramids themselves are made from loam soils which are relatively decent electrical conductors. Okay? Okay. So the loam soil is relatively electrically conductive. They also found tons of mica embedded in these structures, mm -hmm. which is a high voltage insulator. Right. So again, the construction materials are always reflective of the function of the individual structures. This, the feathered serpent temple, is where lightning struck and that lightning strike was distributed into these pyramid structures to heat the ores because you have to extract the mercury from the cinnabar ore. And they found cinnabar ore all over the site as well. Abundant cinnabar, which is a mercury ore, was found at the Teotihuacan complex. Okay. So here is a depiction of the grid system below the Teotihuacan Serpent Temple Complex. They have an avenue that was filled with water that runs below the Avenue of the Dead. And here's the tunnels connecting the Temple of the Plume Serpent, where they discovered all the mercury, into the Temple of the Sun and the Temple of the Moon. Lightning struck the Temple of the Feathered Serpent, and that voltage was distributed into the rest of the Temple Complex that was utilized for the mer mercurial extraction of gold and silver ore. Have you ever seen this diagram before? No. It's from like ancient aliens on the History Channel. Oh my where God. They, where they show the Teotihuacan Serpent Temple Complex down here at the bottom yeah. as an interconnected grid network that looks like a computer chip. Yeah. So they always show this, but they never say what the power source of the system is. Mm. The power source comes from lightning <sighs> that turns on this electrochemical mercurial extraction system so they were using and what did you say the ultimate purpose of the gold was yeah to pure gold for what so gold was very very important to this ancient civilization for some reason whether it be ceremonial whether it be for monetary or whether it be for things like nanoparticle gold or monoatomic gold which gets into some speculation about what the actual application of the gold is what, you ever heard is, of mono, it, monoatomic gold it, no, what's or nano, nanoparticle to gold? What that is. So I don't want to get too far on a tangent, but nanoparticle gold is the smallest particle that can be produced when gold is dissolved into an acid. Okay. It's a great way to purify metals, to purify and extract different metals. That's, that's application number one. But some have proposed that monoatomic gold has all sorts of therapeutic applications and that this ancient civilization was consuming mono, consuming, the consuming gold. monoatomic gold. You ever heard of manna from the yeah, Bible? Yeah. A lot of people say that monoatomic gold is mana. Oh, wow. It's a, it's, a, it's a completely different rabbit hole. I don't want to get caught up too much yeah, on that because it's a, it's a very, very long rabbit hole. Yep. But again, they found all of this cinnabar mercury ore at this temple complex. The cinnabar mercury ore goes- This is underneath that complex? This is a picture of the tunnel below the Temple of the Feathered Serpent. The mercury ore goes into this tunnel system. Lightning would strike and it extracts the liquid mercury ore by heating the ore. So this is how you extract the liquid mercury from the cinnabar ore. That liquid mercury is then utilized within the Temple of the Sun for the extraction of gold ore and the Temple of the Moon for the extraction of silver ore. You can use liquid mercury to amalgamate these ores and extract the respective precious metals. So the Teotihuacan complex is a huge lightning-powered mercurial gold and silver extraction facility. 